everybody, I wanted to put together a video on how to access Schoology since I know it's new for many of you and you have been struggling with that. So there's a couple ways. If you're in one of my classes, I have already sent you a cheat sheet. Mrs. Bartlett's cheat sheet. Okay. And you can go down to whatever class you have, period one, two, or three, and you can go ahead and select the Schoology link. And click on that and that should open that up for you. If for some reason you don't have that handy and you're kind of like, well, how do I find it otherwise? Um, you can always go to guhsd.net right here and then you would go ahead and click on students. Okay. And up pops a library of resources for you. So this is good to have and bookmark for you because in case you're ever looking to log into any of your teacher's tools that they're using or programs are using for you, this bookmarks all of them for you in one spot. Okay. And then you would go ahead and select the Schoology um, button. And again, once you have your account, which with GUHSD you do, it automatically will log you into your Schoology account. Okay. Once you're there, your dashboard will look something similar to this. These are the courses that I'm teaching as well as the courses that I was enrolled in. So um, in order for you to have this, you have to have already been enrolled in a class and it'll pop up on your dashboard, okay? So I'm gonna use uh, American Government First Period as an example of how to navigate through the program. And once you click on this, the class you're looking for, okay, it will, populate into a stream. So this is very similar to the Google Classroom stream that you would have and that you're used to, okay? And it's in order here, in order that I put it in, but I can always change the order later. But just so you know, generally it's in the order that your teacher wants it to be in, okay? For me, I have a folder on important forms and links in which when you click on that, that will take you again to my cheat sheet as well as the, um, video that I created on how to sign your documents for your forms in there and the Zoom meeting um, code, okay? So this is super important. If you're not quite sure what um, meeting you're supposed to attend and you're in one of my classes, go to your Schoology, go to important forms and links and click on Zoom meeting room on the date and time that you're supposed to appear, okay? So, and if you don't know that, it's right here. It'll tell you on the information portion. And I've told you we are nine to 10 for first period, Tuesdays and Thursdays, nine to 10 via Zoom. Okay, and you can go ahead and click on that at nine o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it'll take you directly to your class if you're period one. If you're period two, it's Wednesdays and Fridays from nine to 10. And if you're period three, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10.30 to 11.30. As always, I'm always available. Uh, between the hours of 8 and 2, I'm at school, so you can always call me on my classroom line, uh, Google Voice, or you can email me and I'll be happy to get back to you, okay? Um, now, to navigate through your classes here, we have weeks 1 and weeks 2 already and put it in, and these will be updated weekly as well as daily. So for week 1, I may have only put one assignment in there at, to begin, and then I'll go ahead and add as we go through the week. Okay. Now the way it's done and um, taken, the way it's set up, I'm sorry, is that you will have to complete these items in order, in order to move on to the next um, assignment or task or folder. Okay. So just so you know, I have put this in with student progress that you need to complete them in order and you need to complete them uh, completely before or appropriately before you can move on, okay? So if you're having any problems with that, you know, you can always email me, Google Voice, phone number at the classroom. You know how to get a hold of me. If you don't, um, all my information is still on that cheat sheet, so you can reach me there, all right? So I'll just leave this here with my Google information, my classroom number, and my email. If you have any questions, let me know.